when I started working on AI when I was a, a university student, this is like 20, uh, 1998, so 26 years ago, I was a university student and I started working on uh, AI research and DJing at the same time, but I couldn't make any interesting music back then. So I tried to figure out how I can make something unique with uh, the help of AI. And then I saw this piece. Um, yeah, so this is it's a computer graphics piece by uh, computer graphics artist Carl Sims. And it was 1994. And uh, these virtual creatures are uh, uh, not designed by Carl Sims himself, but they emerged and they evolved in the simulated 3D environment. And uh, Carl Sims said something very unique and interesting. He said, I had no idea how exactly these creatures have evolved and emerged in my simple simulated 3D environment. And I was so fascinated the idea of this, like you can make something simple and this something simple or a simple system could generate something new and unique which you couldn't imagine or you couldn't create by yourself. And uh, yeah, so that's how I envision uh, the use of AI in the future. So you can use AI to create or generate new ideas so that you can expand or extend your own creativity or imagination. And uh, so after I saw his uh, Carl Sims uh, computer graphics, I applied the same technique in music. So this is like around 2000. Uh, so I made a, um, I, I wrote a paper on music composition or music generation system using neural network and genetic algori algorithms. So it, again, it's around 2000. So it was super simple and more like a toy problem uh, from the current uh, standard. So yeah. I, yeah, I, I could generate something like this uh, with this system, but it helped me to work on my early releases, uh, including my first album and uh, collaboration with the late great hip hop producer Nuja Bess. Uh, and uh, yeah, so this is my agenda, or this is my goal since day one. Uh, so I want to make interesting music noises, uh, rhythms, unimaginable by myself to make people dance with some help uh, with some help from AI. And again, I wanted to reach new ideas and new uh, concepts beyond my own creativity or my imagination. And uh, fast forward to 2015, uh, I started a project called AI DJ. Uh, so this is uh, basically back-to-back -back DJ session with me as a DJ and um, AI system, AI DJ system. So I play one song, and the DJ, uh, sorry, AI selects next song, and uh, back and forth we perform as a, as a like a unit or collaboration between AI and me. And uh, it's super exciting. Uh, it's challenging. And uh, every time I talked about AI DJ, people think I'm trying to automate DJ process with AI. But it's not meant to be like that. Uh, my intention was to use AI to make DJing much more unique or weird or you know <laughs> more difficult for me. So I was challenging myself with AI. 
And uh, so the AI selects sometimes very strange music, like AI does strange, strange music, music selection. So I remember once I played a techno song and uh, AI selects jazz song after the techno song. And it, it's clearly a mistake from the standpoint of conventional DJ, but it turned out it was a great match and great mix. So it gave me new ideas how I can perform as a DJ. And uh, I always say I learned how to embrace mistakes of AI. So from the conventional view of AI, uh, sorry, DJ, uh, again, playing jazz song after techno song was a mistake. But uh, I tried to embrace those mistakes to enhance and expand my own creativity or uh, uh, um, expertise as a DJ. Uh, I think, I feel like uh, there is like misconception about AI and uh, use case of AI. And uh, people tend to think AI is meant to be for optimization and uh, automation. And uh, I wanted to promote the idea of, you know, AI can be, um, how can I say, uh, AI can enhance your creativity. And uh, especially, I wanted to em emphasize the fact that, as I said, uh, this state of um, being in between pass passive and active is quite unique and important. And also, when you work with AI, uh, you should try to embrace the mistake of AI or you know unexpected behaviors of AI so that you can extend your creativity. That was the message I wanted to deliver. So it's a pedagogical book, like the book of uh, Talera Stampa. Uh, uh, it's, it, yeah, it's not a technical book. It's, yes. it's more about my personal philosophy. And also, I wrote a little bit about uh, the history of AI and uh, I, I, should say, I should say history of machines that mimic human creativity and how we as artists to um, embrace those machines and, and create something unique and new. Mm -hmm.